All but the human calculators among us have hit or will yet hit a math wall. Trigonometry, calculus, long division. But on our third story in the countdown, John McCain may have hit his math wall, and its name might be Colorado. A possible best-case McCain electoral scenario still yielding worst-case results. Here's how the map could look on November 5th, given a very generous tilt to Senator McCain. If McCain holds on to, and this is a huge if, those critical 04 Bush states, Indiana, North Carolina, Missouri, Florida, and Ohio. Add in the gargantuan task of flipping Pennsylvania into the Republican column this election, and he still loses by two electoral votes. Why? Because the Obama campaign seems poised to make good on promises to change the map, flipping Iowa, New Mexico, Colorado, Nevada, and Virginia. Let's turn now to NBC News and MSNBC political director Chuck Todd. Good evening, Chuck. Good evening, Keith. All right, so that's a best-case scenario right now? Well, you know, we looked at this scenario because we obviously the McCain-Palin ticket is concentrated on Pennsylvania. There's a lot of poll numbers that indicate they shouldn't be. But you get to a point where you run out of real estate. You run out of electoral votes. And they're obviously spending a lot of time in Ohio. Geographically, it makes sense to go there. And if things move nationally and you move it in Pennsylvania, then you could see a flip. And the numbers there, frankly, aren't getting out of double digits. I know some of the polls are there, but you talk to some private polls, both on the Democratic side and on the Republican side, and it is sitting in high single digits. So it's not a, it, it may not be a complete waste of time. But the problem they've got is, you mentioned it, Colorado. This is this whole West issue for McCain. You know, we talk about the young voters and we talk about African-American voters. It's Hispanic voters that could do in John McCain because the entire West could be gone, all three of those battlegrounds. And then the Virginia issue, which has turned into a significant lead. Mm -hmm. They're on the air heavily now in Washington, D.C. They hadn't been there before. But there you go. You put that map together and suddenly Pennsylvania is a luxury for Obama. That's a huge problem for the McCain ticket. Yeah, as we watch uh, the senator speaking in, not surprisingly, Colorado, in Durango, Colorado. What, uh, right. what ha is that? Somebody, I heard somebody say today that, that without Colorado, if he's lost Colorado, uh, he might as well go home now. Is that a bit of an exaggeration? I, it is a slight bit of exaggeration because you know, Nevada is still fairly close. Nevada is still going to be a tough state for, for Obama to flip. I think the Hispanic... Uh, fact, the fact that it, they're breaking more like 65-35 than 60-40 is probably enough to get Obama over the top out there. But of all those three western states, that's the last one to go. And, you know, Colorado, we've seen it's been trending. Down. You know, he could make it up if he somehow held Virginia. But the combination, Keith, of Virginia and Colorado slipping away from McCain, that's where this thing suddenly hits a wall for them. And that's where they're stuck at around 260-265. Frankly, you know, McCain's spending the weekend in Iowa, and everybody's like, well, why is he in Iowa? He's down double digit. Again, he's in search of electoral votes. Uh, and the other thing about Iowa and Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Keith, is that they're both very old populations. And the one voting group that they think may, uh, Obama has the, the least amount of hold on mm. is older white voters. Well, but there's some other numbers besides simple, the simple poll measures or, or your maps. Um, the Associated, right. Associated Press estimate right now is McCain has $12 million to try to flip Pennsylvania and defend the red states, and Obama has $66 million to spend. How is that supposed to work? Well, he does also have Republican Party money. The mm -hmm. RNC has their independent expenditure, and they're actually now targeting Indiana, and they're spending some money in Chicago and Louisville, and they're spending money now in Miami. So he makes up some of that. It's not quite 66 to 12. It's probably more like 66 to 35. But it's still a two-to-one margin, and that's, that's what really has made this, this McCain thing difficult. They're not up in Philadelphia. You know, the McCain campaign is a little bit, but the Republican Party isn't. Mm. So they're almost ceding that part of the, uh, of the state. And while Philadelphia, the city, is going to go big for Obama, the suburbs should be a place that McCain stays competitive. But if he's slipping away there, then it doesn't matter if he overperforms in the Pittsburgh area, which is a, which is a place that they think they can do well if he's going to get trounced in those Philadelphia suburbs. Chuck Todd, political director of MSNBC and NBC News and owner of the world's largest BlackBerry. Uh, thanks, Chuck. Have a good weekend. <laughs> thanks, Keith.